Hello everyone, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video, and this is going to be a great episode, I have so many things to do. First of all, I want to get the Tree Capitator, which is in Obsidian 8, and as you can see, it's quite uh, expensive. It's going to be well worth it, it's basically the Jungle Axe, but it cuts down the entire tree, which is going to be amazing. I also want to redesign the Magma Cube Farm, because I need a lot of coins, and it's not running at full capacity, I'll get into that later. I also want to get the Massive Set. I basically have all the materials for it, I just need to craft it and, well, use it. Uh, it'll help with Wolf Slayers and the Campfire Trial Badges, which is great for getting higher tier Talisman and uh, healing more in Lava. Let's get right into it. Okay, I need about 1,000 Obsidian to actually unlock the recipe for the Tree Capitator. I need a whopping 24,000 Obsidian to actually craft it. I have a little bit of Enchanted Obsidian already collected. And usually that will take forever, maybe a week or a couple days. But using this method, I'm probably going to get it tonight. All you have to do is go to the Dragon's Nest and kill these defenseless Obsidian Defenders. Usually you get about 6 to 14 Obsidian per kill, and they res respawn very often and consistently and in the same spot. So it's just an all-around good way to get Obsidian. Alright, so there's this guy in the end farming Obsidian Defenders with an Undead Sword, so I decide I'm going to buy him an AOT off the Auction House. Alright, I think I'm going to go with this aspect of the end right here. It has a Godly Reforge, and is ending in 8 minutes, and it's pretty cheap, so let's submit the bid. Okay, the bid has ended, so let's collect the auction and trade it to him. Send the trade request. If he accepts, he might be typing something in chat. I'm not sure. Yes. Oh. I'm guessing that was a mistake. Put that in there. And accept. Okay, I was tired of farming obsidian, so I decided to just buy the rest off the bazaar. So, let's see how much it would actually cost. Uh, enchanted obsidian. Buy instantly. Custom amount. Let's see it. Hold on, how much did obsidian did I have? Three stacks and 21, that means uh, 363 obsidian. I didn't mean to buy that, but uh, what would that be? 299. So 299 obsidian. Oh, well, that's a lot of coins. Buy. And it got refunded. Darn it. Okay, so I was finally able to buy the remaining obsidian off the bazaar. It actually took quite a while. So yeah, let's actually craft this. The Tree Capitator with 64 enchanted obsidian left. I guess I did the math wrong. And craft. It actually kept its enchants too, which I'm kind of surprised. But uh, yeah, let's test it out. Alright, so here's a dark oak tree. They're the largest in the game, and that guy just took my tree. But uh, let's still test it out. Oh, that's, that's a lot of damage. I think it's about a stack of wood every time I mine a tree. Yeah, it's about a stack, give or take a couple. Alright, so I think the next easiest thing on our list to get done is the Mastiff set, so let's do that. To craft the Mastiff armor set, all I need is two stacks of enchanted gold and two stacks of enchanted diamonds, along with 16 golden teeth. I already have nine, so that means I only need seven more golden teeth. and the full set of growth armor. I already have everything except the remaining golden teeth, so this should be easy. All right, there is the remaining golden teeth. I forgot how much enchanted gold I have. This is insane. There's the Mastiff crown, the Mastiff chestplate, the Mastiff leggings, and finally the Mastiff boots. Okay, so now that I have the full set of Mastiff, Let's see how much health I have. Okay, 11,617. Now that is a lot of health, don't get me wrong, but I've seen way more. And basically, how the Massive Armor works is it's plus 50 HP per crit damage. And I simply just don't have that much crit damage. So, a couple things I can do to get this up is first of all, I can add growth to it. And I can also reforge this to give me the most crit damage possible. 
So yeah, I could still get this up by maybe one or two thousand, but uh, yeah, no sense adding protection to it because it's minus ten thousand defense. Let's do some fire trials. All right, that's fire trial eleven passed. Let's see what my reward is. All right, no boost in rarity yet. Okay, so I have the one hundred enchanted acacia wood, and yeah, let's upgrade the badge. There we go. An epic campfire badge. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that third word in the name. Alright, let's do more challenges. Okay, so I got all the way to fire trial 19. And on the 20th one, I just kind of die after about 8 seconds if I remember right. So yeah, let's move on and make the new magma farm. Okay, so I have some enchanted stone brick with a button on it. And also, on top of that stone brick... Is all the materials necessary to build a magma farm. Now I'm hoping that when I press this button, it should instantly build the magma farm right around there, just because of the properties of this enchanted stone brick. So let's give it a shot. Well, would you look at that? It actually worked. So it looks like we've got ourselves a magma farm. Now, it didn't place the hoppers or the chests. I don't really know why, but it looks like the minions go here, and as expected, the minions did not move either, but yeah, I guess we'll start placing the hoppers, and the chest, and the minions. Okay, so I've added all of the minions, and I also added a storage system right down here. Uh, the only thing I have to do is get rid of the old magma farm, and put a teleporter right down there by the storage system. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more Hypixel Skyblock content.